Hi, I'm here to talk about a very important intervention for most of the pediatricians, and that's vaccination. You know, for a long, long time, pediatricians have always been at the core of vaccinating our children. In fact, this is what we call the bread and butter of pediatricians. And for a long, long time, we always took for granted that all these vaccines that we are using are just going to be good for children. But we must remember that in recent years, we've been bombarded with so many issues about vaccines and what are the best ones to use, what are the choices that we have to make for prioritizing vaccination or prioritizing what vaccines to be used. In the meantime, there are anti-vaccine groups even that are being uh, discussing and producing some really uh, issues that we hope they wouldn't because uh, it's destroying some of our immunization uh, programs. You see, for example, one of the vaccines that uh, has gone into the market lately, very recently, and for those who are faced with endemic disease burden of dengue, this is something that we must really realize. That now there's a new dengue vaccine just licensed late last year in December, the first time by Mexico, then the Philippines, then El Salvador, then Brazil, and now licensed in over about uh, 13 countries. In most endemic country, they have been waiting for this vaccine. But there are some issues perhaps that you might be worried about, the safety maybe, efficacy. Yes, there are always issues when a new vaccine comes out. And that's the reason why we have to read literature and look at what uh, we've got here. For me, who has been in an endemic country, I'm from the Philippines, and the disease burden is so high. And people want to know, can we use this vaccine? To me, although the vaccine efficacy ranges between 56% to 60%, the hospitalization rate is quite high. It prevents 80% of hospitalization due to dengue. And for severe disease, it actually reduces 90 plus percent of severe dengue. And that's something that we must really think about because dengue is such a fearsome disease. It's a scary disease for most of those who have been uh, exposed to this kind of disease burden. The fear of bleeding, the fear of complications, the fear of uh, having even hepatitis, encephalitis, which are complications of dengue, are, are there. And even some partial protection, even if the efficacy is quite low, the hospitalization rate is high and the severe diseases can be prevented. Now, of course, you say, how about the uh, other issues? Like uh, after two or three years, can it still protect the children? Do we have the possibility of having a disease that could be caused by by the ADE, so-called, the antibody-dependent enhancement. Well, studies and the literature from the first dengue vaccine, the tetravalent live attenuated vaccine that we have now in the market, has shown that indeed this ADE has not been uh, realized. And maybe we should really look at the literature and say that, yes, it is good for children nine years and above. It is the one that's recommended. Maybe there are some issues with regards to the young children less than five years of age. There have been some issues about, yes, it could create perhaps a more severe disease or perhaps there could be more hospitalization for those who have been given the vaccine. But it is not so for children who are nine years and above. And so we are quite confident that when you give it to children, at age nine years, that it could actually be useful and beneficial to them. And there have been cost-effectiveness studies that have shown that indeed the use of dengue vaccine could be cost-effective. And so we do believe that 
um, we must sh be shown all of this so that we will be confident in its use. Maybe there will be other vaccine uh, in the pipeline, we know that, but in the meantime, this is one vaccine that could show us, as I always say, something that will give us the light at the end of the tunnel. Because for those countries that are so um, fearsome, fearing the dengue epidemic, outbreaks of dengue every so often, every two years, there will be a dengue outbreak that usually cause um, overcrowding of hospital, you know, complications of bleeding, and you know, mothers really look at their children and when they bleed, even the doctors get into panic. So this is the kind of disease that needs a real protection from, and hopefully we, we could get that.